It is. You're all right. You heard about my protest, then? Listen, mate, I'm with you. I'd have been there, I'd have been in the car and all. I'd mind a funeral, they just shoved him in a skip. Is the car all right? Yeah, I kept sorting it. On the house. He's a good mate. Well, so are you. Well, that's where you say it. You're a good mate. Thanks very much. How's Sally? Ah, oh, she made me see sense. Audrey was dead upset. Yeah? Well, he was her son. He's a murdering, thieving criminal. I should have talked to Sally. I just walked away. Gazette newsfeed. I don't believe that. It's supposed to be my wife. Where have you been? I was with Gail. I know where you've been, love. You've been at that funeral. I just drove her there, Tim. She was upset. I saw you. How? The Gazette sent a photographer. I was about to phone you to apologise. Suddenly there you are on Steve's phone, mourning a murderer. I was supporting you my You went friend. to the Who funeral of a man that tried mom? to kill me and left me for dead in the boot of a car. Have you got nothing to say? You got no explanation of why his funeral's more important than me. Thanks for that. Where will you go? Oh, you care. Tim, please, just Don't listen to me. Don't try and justify yourself. Look, I'm sorry. I knew you were upset. Exactly. You knew. Gail was upset about letting Audrey down. I, I should have. I should have just let her do what she wanted. But I shouldn't have driven her there, and I shouldn't have walked her to the crematorium. I haven't slept since. And when I do, I have nightmares. Tim, over and over you. and over again. It's like he's haunting me. It's like he's never going to stop. Oh, love. 